Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here. I'm a reading I'm reading an article off of Ars Technica about a security firm called Mandiant owned by Google that was brought for 5.4 billion gets its X account hacked. It's written by Dan Gooden, January 3rd, 2024, 8.32 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mandiant, the security firm Google brought for $5.4 billion, gets its X account hacked. Scammer impersonates a legitimate cryptocurrency wallet and then, piv then pivots to trolling Mandiant. The, the scammer is very dumb, I should say. Google-owned security firm Mandiant spent several hours trying to regain control of its account on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Wednesday after an unknown scammer hijacked it and used to spread a link that attempted to steal cryptocurrency from people who clicked on it. We are aware of the incident impacting the Mandiant X account and are working to resolve the issue company officials wrote in a statement. We have since regained control over the account and are currently working on restoring it. The statement didn't answer questions asking the company to determine how the account was compromised. The hacked Mandiant account was initially used to masquerade as one belonging to Phantom, a company that offers a wallet for storing cryptocurrency. Posts on X encouraged people to visit a malicious website to see if their wallet was one of the 250,000 that were eligible for an award of tokens. Over several hours, X employees played tug of war with the unknown scammer, with scam posts being removed to only reappear according to people who follow the events. Yes, yeah, so the scammer is is a complete idiot. Excuse my language, but the scammer is a complete dumbass for doing this. Like scammers are dumbasses for trying to steal control of uh, accounts online just like a crypto scammer stole linus tech tips youtube account in 2023 did you know gaming had their youtube channel stolen by a crypto scammer too so scammers are dumb they don't have their brain in their head it says here eventually the scammer changed the at mandiant username and reappeared under a new username after using the account to promote a fake website impersonating phantom and promising free tokens it posted the cryptic message, check bookmarks when you get account back. It also chided Mandiant to change password, please. So the scammers are completely dumb on this one. At the time of this post went live on ours, the Mandiant profile displayed the message, this account doesn't exist. Mandiant is one of the leading security companies and best known for helping clients investigate and recover from major network compromises. That vantage point gives it a major insights into threat actors, many of them backed by nation states, and often then, then the often previously unknown tactics, techniques, and procedures they use to compromise the security of some of the world's most powerful and well-resourced organizations. <clears throat> Google purchased Mandiant in 2022 for $5.4 billion, which at the time was its second biggest acquisition ever. Many questions remain about Mandiant's measures to secure its X account. Among them, was it protected by a strong password in any form of two-factor authentication? Last month, someone claimed to have discovered the social media site was vulnerable to a reflected XSS, a cross-site scripting type of vulnerability that can sometimes be used to compromise the security of accounts when a legitimate user currently logged in clicks on a malicious link in a different browser tab. The user said they reported the vulnerability through the legitimate channels, but that submission didn't qualify under the X bug bounty program. Oops! On Twitter, or known as X. Clicking a crafted link or going to some crafted web pages would allow attackers to take over your account, posting, liking, updating your profile, deleting your account, etc. Xiaofan Shou, a University of California at Berkeley PhD candidate, wrote last month. Attempts to reach Phantom for comment were unsuccessful. Having that said, uh, the scammer in this one is completely dumb. It's got a brain of a, a less than a half of a brain or a brain like a dodo bird and decided to completely impersonate Mandiant and the scammer didn't realize what they're getting themselves into by doing this. So I have to say, but the scammer is a complete idiot a.k.a. idiot dumbass for doing what they're doing. These scammers are not very bright. They're not. They've got the intelligence of a dimly lit light bulb. They don't think too bright with their minds. 
So, other than that, this is William Armstrong signing out, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.